Hello, welcome back to Total by Lodestone Productions, where we help you discover your true north. I am Aditi, and this is a message for whenever this message reaches you, because spirit is not bound to our time and space continuum. And so, the only time by which we tell time is divine time. Do you know what I'm saying? So, let us check our spiritual voicemail and see what's what. Shall we? Do let's. So before I came around here to push record, I was talking to death. I was like, why are you so hot and heavy this spring? Like you've been you've been you've been sitting on our necks, man. Like, just what is with this? Grand Central Station of Soul Transfers that is happening right now. And I heard because it's spring. Make room, bitch! Uh, oh, okay. Make room, bitch. <sighs> That's going to be the topic, but I need to find a topic that is going to actually, you know, clear YouTube standards, but still. Yeah, that that's... That's the message. Make room, bitch. So, here we go. Make room. A fiery climax approaches in Seven of Wands. Well, if that's not a fiery climax, I'll pay you. <sighs> yep. Make room. All this stuff coming in, wanting, wanting a piece of your time, a piece of your attention. And it's just... Yeah, it's a it's a big fight. It's a big fight. Mm, full moon in Aries. <clears throat> yeah, I can see that. It's a good one. Well, 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 well. Your hard work's paying off with the nine of wands and death. Okay. Okay. Make room, bitch. You got you got a lot of stuff going on here. You did you did a lot of things. Did a lot of things, made a lot of sacrifices. <sighs> Make room, bitch. Yeah. Mm. Show the world the real you. Six of daggers. Knight of cups. And the creator. Yes, you need to make room. My goodness. Okay. Ma'am slash sir. Wow. Okay. I show the world a real you. Um, the peaceful you. The serene you. The best part of you. Like, okay, that would be that would be the best part of me, is the serene me. But what I'm seeing with the yeah, but what I'm seeing with the six of daggers, it's like all this all this all this other stuff that I had to do with you know leading up to the five and the whoo great idea nah, 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 nah. and then like right after the five of swords too with all the hey, you know what I just you know and and with the six of daggers I'm said like you won you won you won the argument you won the fight the referee held your hand at the end of it all and the people cheer for you now this is the locker room. This is this is the ride home. This is the ice bath. You know, just cool. Yeah. And with the Knight of Cups, there's the <clears throat> the heart gets to breathe because it doesn't have to be in defense mode it doesn't it it doesn't have to shut off because like in this like pre six of daggers energy the heart has to the heart's got a big job of protecting itself against all of the things that are going to be hurled at it right so kind of like armadillos in a sense 
when you're in the five of swords or daggers energy but then with this six coming away from it and knowing that this is the last argument here we go this is the last argument you're going to have to have on this subject and you know relaxing the heart is now able to unfurl itself and and stretch you know and then start beating like normal this is the energy that you want to present to the world at all times calm peaceful open unrestricted there we go unrestricted that is an unrestricted heart space right there with the knight of cups and then you have the creator the empress just thinking about these two happening at the same time and it being real is just who yeah you know what i can now i can really now i can really flex i can really create the environment that i want to have chancellor of wands with the fiery climax um spirit spirit can we be any more on the nose your hard work is paying off strength and knight of crystals show the world the real you with the five of deck see five of daggers the hermit and the three of daggers oh come on kids all right a fiery climax approach oh shit oh uh, okay so the king of wands is here the the rock star the <sighs> mm. yeah mr i'm on a rocket board shorts and flippy floppies just wooing just just wooing okay and the people love it. The audacity. Have the audacity. There it is. Just the unmitigated gall. The nerve. Just walk around with it. Like you did. This is my world. How dare you just did. And you're not going to do a ding dang thing about it because the hard work is paying off with the strength and the knight of crystals not being in the king of wands energy right now is is not an option that's not on the table there have been opportunities in the past where you may have chosen not to act in this and not have the nerve and the unmitigated gall chose not to get on the rocket but today you want the rocket right now is rocket time Woo! and you are calm enough in yourself regardless as to what anybody else thinks you are secure in yourself and what you have and in what you have accomplished to be able to get on this rocket And now you get to be on the offensive with the five of daggers. Listen, now that you have allowed your heart rate to slow down and now that you have already won, any other arguments even close to this is going to get the five of daggers treatment from you because you already know how they work
because you've already taken the time to heal from all of the damage that this energy prior to this six had to bring. Like, dude, you had to, again, you really had to go in and like shut that shit down in order to survive this five of daggers. This is how you made it. So now you get to be on the offensive with a vantage point because you know what this is and you know how to work with it. You have already, you have already emerged victorious. Yep. And now you, you are building your world. I ain't got to fight you no more. I got a world to build. Four wands. I got a life to establish. Feel me? I ain't got time to be sitting here jawing with you. Yeah. Eight of crystals and the eight of cups. Hard work is paying off. Just look at all that perpetuity. I, baby, don't look at refining who you are and how it's getting done and also walking away from stuff to for a better result. Oh, yeah, this is great. I'm excited. Make room, bitch. Eight of Cups, make room, bitch. Ooh, four of wands building that place. I need a bigger house, make room, bitch. Hold on, hold on. Come back over here. Knight of Cups, make room, bitch. <laughs> make room. <laughs> Ten of Crystals. <laughs> Wheel of Fortune <laughs> and the Four of Cups. Make room, bitch. Because here, look, I, uh, make room. Oh my God, Spirit, I am so full. Well, make room, bitch. Whew. Oh, the excitement. Okay. So this creator energy that you are in now that now that your heart has room to stretch that means that because your heart space is stretching and expanding that means that the other parts of your world are going to expand in kind right because all of these things we are talking about balance which means that all of these things must be in proportion with one another if the heart gets to stretch you know say physically it gets to pump more efficiently it gets to work better and feel good all the way down to the molecular structure um, that means that your physical world also gets to grow and expand so some of you may be looking for a larger place some of you may be rearranging where you currently are to make the flow um, more cohesive with how you want to live your life even if we're talking you know just rearranging using feng shui changing the flow making room right make room bitch and doing it and testing it and doing it and testing it and refining it with the eight of crystals like it's you've been working on this for a while and you know it's time to move to something additional some yes something additional that's a good word to put it's a good way to put it additional yeah um because you know there's better coming and show the world the real you the real you is abundant than a motherfucker ten of crystals the real you shines like new money new money yeah 
Look at this growth here. Look at this. Look at this here. Yeah. Yeah. And then you've got the wheel of fortune. You're being got. Look, you get. Oh, all right. So I don't know if you can see that. Look at the plethora of leaves here versus everywhere else. And then directly across from that, look how few there are. That's such a wonderful attention to detail. Dang, like even the stars are smaller. That's fab. Okay. So you are now here in the abundant times, right? You've already gone through this cycle of lack and, and things and had to, had to push through all of that, right? And because you survived this arc here, now you are being gifted with this. Like we keep saying, I'm not the only reader out there saying that this is, it, I hope you have the time of your life because you're about to. If you haven't already, it's coming. Like it's here. It is, it's literally in the cards. But that means that with all of this abundance, it's real easy to get full off of the appetizer because You've been starving for a minute, but listen, I'm going to need that. You're going to have to learn how to competitively eat and or pace yourself um, because there's more where that came from. And spirit wants us to realize that it's not just a figment of your imagination. These are some blessings I, I am telling you through the network, make room, bitch make room <whistles> okay thank you for taking time to hang out with me today and until we meet again remember to be good to yourselves and to each other and i will see you next time bye now